Hello, everybody. In the last episode, we got to the Lost Forest. We also got the last thing necessary to, well, do this. Blah, 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 blah. The hero's triumph on the Cataclysm's Eve with the three symbols of virtue. Master Sword, you will then retrieve, keeping the Lice Nine tr Knights line true. Suddenly, Sahasrala contacts you telepathically. Cloud, it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can deflect the wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please, Cloud. This is the last time I will ever speak to you in the game. I believe that really is the last time he ever speaks to you in the game. I think there's actually only one more time he ever talks to you. Cloud, help! The soldiers are coming to Sanctuary! Aye! Just saying something kind of funny there. Is that now that I played Borderlands? I don't know. All right. If you hit this tree, apples come out. It'll heal up some of your health. Darn sign! This is also another way to go to Kakariko. Also, now we have a sword that shoots laser beams. I forgot to mention that because we don't have full hearts. And I just summoned a bee, which is bad. Before we find Legend of, Z the Legend of Zelda, get back. Or rather, before we find Zelda. We're going to be doing a few things beforehand. Specifically, we're going to be learning how to swim. I know, important, right? Not sure how we forgot about it this far in the adventure, but... I mean, it is important that we learn to swim. Which is the one you want to give the uh, mushroom to? Thank you, young man. Come back to the shop later for something good. <laughs> In reality, what that means is leave the screen and come back. And this magic powder. Try to speak to all enemies and many things. Not a condiment. More salt. Generally, for this thing, the magic powder, it you're mainly going to only be using it to turn anti fairies into fairies, which is its main purpose. It can al can also turn these weird things into other things that are really funny. It basically makes them harmless. Waterfall of witching is just around the corner. Well, I do. Stole it was just around the corner. Alright. Ow, my face. Ow. 
Good thing I can't drown. You can actually give yourself invincibility frames against these guys, which is nice. Now, I have no idea what these guys are supposed to be, but this is Zora's a waterfall. And to me, it just feels kind of strange, considering the fact that we see Zoras later down the line in Zelda, and they, they do not look like that, but, uh... <laughs> anyway. Well, ha ha! What do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask of me? I want the flippers! Well, ha! I don't give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees a pair. What do you do? Pay 500 rupees. One pair of flippers coming up. I'll give you a free bonus with your purchase. I'll let you use the magic waterways of the seafloor. Would you like lakes and rivers? When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You never know where your surface. Well, ha! You bought Zora's flippers. With these, you can e should even be able to swim even in deep water. Make sure you take a left here and don't just fall down the next river because heart peace. Your level is increased. Too full. All right, now let's get out of here. Because we need to go to the Waterfall of Wishing now. It's kind of funny how that took exactly almost the same amount of money I had. We need to throw something in. What will you do? Throw an item. Didn't mean to throw that in, but okay. Hello there, did you drop this? I'll give you back to, this to, back to you then. Don't drop it again. If she can upgrade some items, we're going to be able to upgrade our shield, and I think the boomerang through this. Boomerang! I'm like an honest person, I'll give you something better in return. You got the magical boomerang. You can throw this faster and farther than your old one. Don't question me just throwing random stuff and littering in your pond. Okay. You can actually, uh... Turn a bee into a super bee this way. Your shield is improved, now you can defend yourself against fireballs! Magical portal. Took me to nowhere. Or, took me nowhere. Alright. You go in here. And there's another fairy. You have to throw a ton of rupees this way. Your happiness is 20. You become happier by one step. Reference today, you will have a little luck. It will eventually uh, cool down, because there is a cooldown to this. For today, you'll have big trouble. Well, that doesn't sound good. Forgive me for blowing up your walls. It's the last we can donate. A little luck. The more you donate here, the better off you will be, because she will upgrade your uh, bombs or your arrow count. And this is how you will upgrade them to max later down the line. So this is where money is important. It's also where you're going to be spending most of it, if I'm going to be honest. Our sword lasers! Now, 
All right. Now, before going to... Well, I guess we have to go to Sanctuary first, now, don't we? Hmm. Where's that again? Also, when you got the, get the Master Sword upgraded, your range also increases, which is a bit important. Just curious, but can you actually go to just... Can you just go here right now? You can. Aha, you can't get me. Well, we're going to Sanctuary anyway. Because as a hero, we must waste as much time as possible before doing our object objective. Otherwise, we're not a hero. In Zelda, at least. Sanctuary is one place that I just don't remember where the crap it is. Ah, there it is, I think. Eight! Out of morbid curiosity, though, I just want to see if you can actually do the dungeon without having to go to the sanctuary. You go to the sanctuary, the old man just dies and says, Well, I'm sorry I failed. Zelda's gone. That's about it. And then he floats up into the great beyond. But I just want to know. I'm just curious. I've played this game so many times, gone to the sanctuary immediately so many times. I just want to know. Is this possible? Yes, we can. Welcome to the real Hyrule Castle. Make sure you use your sword la laser sufficiently. Mash! Careful because those uh bird thing eyeball creatures. Yeah, they hurt. They can get get rid of your uh magic sword very fast. I do recommend before continuing to kill these guys before you do anything. If you see one, take them out. Because you want to save as much as your health and everything else as possible. So never fight these guys directly. It'll save you a lot of time, frustration, and... Eh, generally all the good stuff. There we go. There we go. There we go. Key. This dungeon frustrated me a lot growing up, because it's a lot of mazes. Well, 
that was close. I almost got hit. Say not hit forever in this case. That's another thing, an upgraded shield usually means you can defend against these guys pretty well. Oh crap! No, Sahasrila! I'm just getting hit up a storm. Listen well, Cloud. Even with the Master Sword, you cannot inflict physical damage on harm on the wizard. You must find a way to return his own evil magic power to him. Ah, yes. The magical item you get is useless. You must simply use the power of the enemy who is much greater than you to best him. Hey, Sahasrila, why was this... Master Sword bot from Kroger. Alright. Ooh, arrows, that's nice. Anything else? Uh-huh. Yeah, the guys with the mid-swords are very annoying, because they... Barry! Barry, come here! Thankfully, the magic beams of the magic sword will, or the master sword, will actually, uh, take out those spears. Aha! Wall hacks! Hmm, I have an idea. I forgot you can't throw bombs in this game. In the next episode of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, we're going to be going through the eyeball door. See you guys then.